This video illustrates the concepts of implicit cost, fixed cost, variable cost and economies of scale. What you see in this video clipping is a printing press. In this printing unit, all types of printing works such as printing books, magazines, visiting cards, marriage invitation, notices, banners are undertaken. Implicit costs. This building is owned by the proprietor himself, so the rent is not actually paid out by the proprietor. The rent of the building comes under implicit cost. Implicit cost, as we have learnt, is costs which are not actually incurred, that is, not actually paid out. But while calculating total cost, the estimated rent of the building will be added by the proprietor. What are the implicit costs in this press? It is the hidden cost which is spent by the producer such as time spent by the family members in displaying the designs for cards and explaining all to the customers. These details are needed to satisfy the customer who inquires about the facilities in the press. the printing machines, Xerox machines and computers. They are capital investment made by the unit. These capital inputs come under fixed cost, that is, cost incurred on fixed factors. These fixed factors remain constant irrespective of the level of output. Say for example, in the short period of time, if they receive bulk order for printing books, banners and other works, they can do only with the variable factors such as labor and raw materials but not the fixed factors. Using the available labors, they can carry out the works through shift systems because to meet out the demand, immediate purchase of machines is not possible in the short period. Is there any press operating only with fixed cost? No, it is not possible. For example, to run a machine, power is required. To operate some machines, labor is needed. So, the print effort is provided for comparing the details of fixed cost. Variable cost. The price they pay for raw materials, the wages given to their laborers are variable cost. According to demand, the working hours can be increased. More raw materials can be purchased. When the working hours are increased, accordingly the wages which account for variable cost are also increased. Is there any groups of inputs called variable inputs? Yes, certainly. In general, excepting skilled labour, semi-skilled and unskilled labourers are called variable inputs. The raw material are also variable inputs. Economies of scale. This printing press undertakes bulk orders and expands its scales 
of output through increasing the capital investment in computers and related machineries and then experiences economies of scale. This could result in lower cost of production. What are these economies of scale? This economies of scale is opposite to economies of scale as increasing the scale will increase the cost of production. The various internal economies which originate inside the working unit always help in cost saving. 